In this video, I'm going over Backrooms Level 13, aka The Infinite Apartments. And if you want to skip directly to that explanation, click the timestamp on the screen or just start spamming the right side of your phone screen. But if you want to hear about this three month series that I'm starting with this very video where I'm going to be going over Backrooms Levels 13 through 50, just keep on listening for a few minutes so you can understand how it's going to work. Hello everyone and welcome to the very beginning of the Brugly Summer Spectacular, which is the most ambitious, the biggest, and the most comprehensive series on the channel so far, and it will span for 37 episodes long. This series of uploads over the next couple months, I will be going over Backrooms levels 13 through 50, but not only that, I will also be sprinkling in some regular level videos and some fan-made levels videos in between those. And at the very end of these 37 levels, I'm going to combine all of the videos together into one giant, like, 8 hour long compilation. Kind of like the one I did for Brugmas, where I went over levels 0 through 12, except like 4 times as big. So yeah, if you're ready for the next 2.5 months of Backrooms content from me, leave a fat like and all that kind of stuff. And while you're down there, check out my second channel, man. I'm uploading irregular bangers this summer right now. It, it, it's awesome. Let's get into it. Backrooms level 13, AKA the infinite apartments is one of the most famous levels in the backrooms. And it's classified as a class two difficulty. You've all probably seen the picture that's on the level description. It's almost as famous as the level zero picture in my mind. The level is what looks to be an apartment building with extremely long hallways and a bunch of floors. Unlike its name, however, the infinite apartments are not actually infinite. There's around a thousand floors. The hallways themselves have a 1980s ish style build and the decoration there is also from the 80s and there's also weird looking brown carpets white and yellow walls and this kind of trippy geometric pattern on the walls too i mean that's looks kind of cool there are elevators and staircases both on this level but the elevators can only go to different backrooms levels not different floors of this level so if you're on floor four and you want to go to floor eight you're gonna have to walk up the stairs sorry the most common entities in this level are the window entity, and they typically show a bright blue void behind their glass, so just avoid those. Getting near them at all is very dangerous, but I'll talk about the rest of the entities in the entity section later on in the video. Some of the apartments are actually open, and you can walk into them, and you can actually claim the apartments, or a certain apartment. Inside, they look just like normal smallish apartments decorated with beds and all that good stuff, and they have the same decor from the 80s as the hallways do. Like I said, you can actually claim residency of an apartment by going down to the lobby, which is floor zero, and asking the faceling behind the desk to give you a key to that corresponding number, and then they will, and then you have an apartment for free. Pretty cool. The inside of some of the apartments, there are actually computers there, which are already connected to the Wi-Fi through the level, which is cool if you want to hop on the internet or whatever, but there's not computers in all of them, just some. And as for the entities here, there's the windows in the hallways, like I said, and there's that face lane at the front desk, but there's also some other really dangerous stuff lurking around, like clumps, smilers, and death moths, to be specific. Now these entities mainly hide in empty dark apartment rooms, so be careful if you're opening a door, you don't want to get eaten by a clump. Now other than that, there aren't any entities here, which is why the level is just classified as class 2. There's only one base here and it's located on the 283rd floor. This floor entirely is claimed by the BNTG group and it's a small trading post for their bigger outposts. And the only people allowed in are BNTG members, which is lame. To enter this level, you can go into an apartment building back on level 11, or you can no clip through the floor on level 12, or you can no clip into a yellow wall on level negative two. Now, if you wanna leave the level, you can find a red wall in one of the hallways and just no clip through that to go to level negative one, or you can pick one of the other three listed exits. To summarize this explanation, like I'll be doing for every level, Backrooms level 13 is a level that's around 1,000 floors and it's full of tons of apartments and hallways, which all have this whitish yellow wallpaper with geometric shapes and patterns on them. 
The floors here are brown carpet, and you can actually stay in the individual apartments if you ask the face lean in the lobby on floor zero to give you a key. Now, the main thing you're going to have to avoid is smilers, clumps, and death moths hiding in empty apartments. But other than that, it's a pretty chill level. And to me, this level gives off huge liminal space vibes. Overall, I love it. So yeah, that was the level 13 explanation. I do hope you enjoyed the video. So this is pretty much the exact format of how each of these levels is going to go. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really excited for you all to see all these videos. And I really hope you're ready for four to five videos a week for two straight months, guys. We're grinding them out. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure to check out my second channel, Toogly. Because like I said at the beginning, I'm uploading bangers over there this entire summer. It's awesome. We're going crazy. The goal is 50k by the end of the year. If you want to help me get there check it out. Also, make sure to sub to the Brugley channel because at 500,000 subscribers, I will be buying the Backrooms wallpaper pants. Yes, you heard that right. The Backrooms pants. And I'll be buying those at 500k and showing them off to you guys. So yeah, if you want to see that, subscribe. Thank you all for everything. And I will see you tomorrow for the explanation of level 14. Peace out. <laughs>